all right so here's the materials you're gonna need for this also found in the description box now let's go ahead and say with the watercolors that you see you don't really need to use that because I ended up switching that out for food coloring because I wanted the colors to be more bold so you can actually use food coloring instead of water paint all right so I had a die cut that was already lying around so I went ahead and traced that to make the perfect star um, you can always print one online and have that as a tracer so if you want these stars to come out nice go ahead and trace it go ahead and grab that um, those two little containers and fill it with this much water you don't want to put a lot of water because you're not going to use a lot of it and um, this is my first thing that I tried guys so I tried to take the watercolor and scrape it into the water which it works because it turns the water colors however I wanted more of a bold color so I ended up adding food coloring as you're going to see in a second but if you want to try this by all means I'm pretty sure it'll still turn out nice just take your water coloring and just use your scissors or something sharp and try to break chunks off into the water and then stir it up until it dissolves and that's how I got this color right here All right, so now I'm gonna add food coloring. Um, this yellow one didn't even have any watercolor, so that's all food coloring right there. And I know you guys enjoy all this free information I am giving you, so go ahead and like this video. And while you down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification so you know every time I upload. Now, I try to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but that hasn't been the case lately since school is starting back up, and you know I'm getting back to work, so. You might want to go ahead and uh, hit that notification bell so you can see when I pop up with new ideas so you and the kids won't be bored um, this year because who knows when we're going to have a normal life again. Anyway, if you missed it, I did put some wax paper down because um, for some reason the wax paper stops the coloring, the colors from being absorbed out of the stars. So I suggest putting down some wax paper before you start dropping the paint on the stars. And we got this. This is her favorite part, by the way. Um, she loves seeing it swell but we got this dropper from a medicine uh, bottle you don't need to go out to the store and buy it just look in the kids Dimetap or Tylenol and grab one of them little droppers I know you parents I know y'all got droppers around the house and if you don't pretty sure you can find them at any craft store or any store maybe Dollar Tree has them too who knows but uh, yeah this part was so cool you can is no right or wrong way to do it perfect and we went ahead and added eyes to these stars because there's some eyes in buddy's friends i certainly hope y'all had fun with me today if you did go ahead and click that card that just popped up because you can find more of my how to do videos and these are how the stars turned out beautiful right oh love the colors love the tie dye love it all guys let me show y'all one more cool cute trick if you take the stars when they're dry and you drop water on them like like one drop of water please just one drop of water on them let it dry it has this cool like tie-dye effect that you can also add to the stars that can be the second layer of what you are doing to your stars so go ahead and wait for it to dry add drops of water and then let that dry and then you will be amazed on how it turns out Thank you guys for watching this video. Kim, say bye. Bye. And we will see you on the next video. Have a nice day.